hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I did just double check and the list I remember I remember now the list is pretty paltry of companions in this game um, and one of them's a DLC companion and we don't even get a Krogan friend in this one I mean we will see we will see Rex and we will see Grunt but um yeah it's Garrus, Tally, Liara, James, um, Caden slash Ashley um, what? Oh, did I miss that? I must have missed it. Now that's probably going to go in that empty spot that was on my... I am really bummed. I don't know why they felt the need to, like, reduce the number. Oh, is he... Oh, okay. Is he okay? Uh they're everywhere, you just get taken to. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Just stay with me. Run, can't get out of there, you can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Uh <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. Ferris Fields, if you remember in Mass Effect 2, is one of the places that got taken. Like the... by the collectors. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt this alone as I do right now. Yeah, we have uh, This is... It's... I think it's probably a bit odd to be doing... Like, talking like this to your commanding officer, but... Uh... Open door policy, I guess, you know, but also like legit, like he's my friend. Like, I really like Steve. I think I've only played Femship really and interacted with him as Femship, um, but someday I really want to make a male ship who romances Steve because he just, I just want him to be happy, <laughs> you know? So someday I'll get a male ship down here and I will romance Steve and he will be super happy and, and we'll be, we'll both be happy and it'll be good. <sighs> but yeah, someday. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just it's, I was gonna say, missions, it's, hard. it's the downtime. I know. For sure, for sure. You know? I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Yeah, thanks. Trip. I'm just glad we made it out in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dog fight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. Yeah. Um, should I... Uh... Oh, I don't want to spend money on the upgrades because I'm just going to be buying or getting new weapons, you know? I know I need to, but I don't want to. You got anything new for me, James? That Primarch's got some real cojones. Yeah. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Independence Day, how the president in Independence Day, fantastic movie, um, was also a former military man. You don't get that anymore. I wonder if it would actually be better or not. Oh, sh we, everybody should be all right. Let me just double check. Trainer. Oh, Miranda. 
Yeah, everyone wants to chat. Commander. I've heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. Okay, yep. Kate and still in the hospital on my feet, eating solid food and making trouble. They'll probably throw me out of here soon. Okay. Let me go see if Edie has anything she wants to say to me. I feel like usually trainer will let me know when somebody wants to talk, but... How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the cyber warfare suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. That's good. Commander. Okay. I'm glad everyone's doing well. I don't freaking know what to do with myself. Let's go to Grissom Academy. Sorry, Grissom was first, Miranda. <laughs> Miranda is going to take us to... Not sanct Sanctuary. Not Sanctum. Sanctuary. Which is a trip. Like, that place is freaky. Like, what they're doing? Very weird. Oh, okay. Like, it's some- I remember being very upset, because I was like, this is totally something that would happen. But, like, it's horrifying. <laughs> Taking advantage of people's, like, desire to be safe. Just money? Okay. I mean, I guess I need it, and I'm sure finding a lot. Ooh. The Reapers. Sometimes, sometimes if you're lucky, you'll roll over it without scanning, and you'll hear it go boop. You'll hear it make that noise, which I just, which I did, and that's why I scanned here. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Uh, where I want to go to Grissom Academy, which is somewhere. I don't know. Where is it at? Where is it? I don't know where it is. If I hover over it? Or maybe I don't have the system yet? Oh, it's blinking. Rescue the students. Oh, this was Elise. That's right. Elysium is where the Skillion Blitz happened. This is where my shepherd um, made like a like a desperate final stand and managed to save. I don't think the planet, but like the city, like the planet, obviously too, but like the city that was being besieged. Purdy. Yes. So it's for smart kids and biotic kids and both. Uh, who are we going to be? Ooh. I'm going to be fighting Cerberus. Obviously. So bring Garrus. Liara's abilities are useful. I think more useful than Edie's. I didn't really use much of hers. Incinerate's nice, but... I want to see her in her new outfit, too. Uh, we should be good. Stasis is probably going to be handy. Health 300. She's tiny. The rest of us have like 700 health. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Too many. Woohoo! I'm cool. Fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. 
Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Our Joker, can you give me a Our bird? shuttle is a uh... Stealthy. Oh boy. He's like, oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> We're gonna just free fall in. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Come and get me. He's like, usually we're just going from place to place. This is. We can put her through her paces now. And we're just gonna go scoot, 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 all the way in. With our stealthy shuttle. <laughs> Keep the shuttle Woo! We'll be we're so cool. I'm so cool looking. Look at me. I love it. It's super cool. Oh my gosh, we look sick! <laughs> look at us, we look so cool. <laughs> I'm glad Garrus' helmet comes off. I was worried it would be on during cutscenes. Shepard's armor is one of those, uh, this is one of the, like, full sets that you can't take the helmet off. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I can change it right now. But I'm pretty sure... When you get like the full sets like this one and the blood dragon armor, um, they don't let you take the helmet off. It's only the modular armors. Maybe we have a white the white weapon. Let's go. In I go. Oh wait, can I eh, well I'm trying to target you. Oh you're dead? What how are you guys dead already? I didn't do anything to you. Those two just died. She must have shot them. Hi, can I come in? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. She's from the books, I think. She's had a commander. Thank you. Yes. Admiral Anderson always said. Her and Anderson had a fling. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than twenty. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, it's been 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed yep, him. Yep, for the book. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him... I don't know if they had a fling necessarily, but I think they did have feelings for each other. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Uh, I think you had to get permission from their parents. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I look so cool. Oh my gosh. The armor looks good, too. I really like that armor. I mean... No! They're dragging him off to, like, assimilate him. I can't... I can't do anything. Give it to me. Listen here, you. Yeah, 
Well, that's enough. That's enough of that. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. I got you. Oh wait, where? No, nope, I don't know how to get out. Good thing doors are optional in some cases. Well, listen here. There it is. Speaking of propaganda, the man's got the voice for it. They freaking... Yeah, what? That's insane. Like, yeah, there, there's some kids that they, they don't, they're not even gonna leave some of them alive. They just rather kill them. Like, if they're not gonna use, if they're not gonna use them, they don't want the alliance to have them. You know? Holy moly! There's so many of you with freaking. I don't think this works on you guys. No, stop. I can't, I can't see. I know this guy is still alive behind me. I need my barriers back. Give me barriers. Oh, I need to break that, I think. There we go. Fast. I'm mad. Well, that's the thing. Like, right? Like these these kids are like they're geniuses. Like, like the loss of her is like detrimental to like the world at large. Like the things she could have done. Commander, you know. I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Oh, jeez. And they're targeting individuals. Oh, it's the Matic I don't really like. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's the assault rifle. Uh, yeah, I don't think I think I don't like the Matic. The Vindicator's probably fine, but the Avengers, the one with the slight upgrade, so we'll leave it at that. Like freaking using their families against them too. Oh, stay back. Hey. I'll, I'll... God, is she's bleeding. Shepard, we need to help her. Sean, can you hear me? I don't know my name. I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I think I gave her a metagel. Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't. Show us, uh, they're like using kids. My name be announced over the thing. I think 
it's too big. It's too big to be in here. I don't think you could have gotten through that door even if you don't. Everyone get down. This thing's out of your league. Shepard, keep it off us. I love when she's So yes, Jack is uh, dang it, freaking, dang it, stupid, freaking, dang it, stupid, freaking sentinels with their stupid, freaking. These are civilians, Shepard. We need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully aware. Protect them. Stupid, freaking, stupid, freaking, stupid. Ow, 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 ow! What hit me? Um, but yeah, as we'll see in a second, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> She's a freaking teacher here. Of all people, you didn't expect Jack to be a teacher. And the way that she's wearing is just, it's so funny. She, like, refuses to wear, uh, like, mandated teacher outfits. Which I wouldn't have it any other way. But if you think about it, Jack would actually make like a really great mama bear character, and that's exactly what happens, essentially. Wow, nothing, nothing is happening to you. This is insane. I am going to die. <laughs> oh no. Jack's arc in this is uh, is super great, honestly. To protect them. Ow. Where's the freaking sentinel? Certain. Or whatever it is. doing my very best. Okay. Oh, that's right. You can revive now without using up stuff. Woo. No ammo. Friggin', I need to find a body. Ammo. Still helping up there. She's chucking biotics at him. Daily said she was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the Queen of the Girl Scouts would show Why do you take me for? Alright. Amp check. Frankly, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took from. <laughs> Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <sighs> How in the world did you get here? Ugh. Yeah. Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust me? Listen, I know. I didn't. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus is. It's not killed. my fault they killed people. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> Yeah. 
I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing. Here. I was tr I was in house arrest. I knew I helped you. They offered me this, and apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you. Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. <laughs> she says she's an interesting teacher. That's for sure. How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, man. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be I need be ammo. Off. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Anyway, I was very surprised when I learned, when I first played, and I was like, Jack is here, teach, and I can't believe the Alliance was like, yes, this woman, who's very unhinged, definitely seems like a good teacher, but I think Jack just needed purpose in life that was uh, external to herself, essentially. Like, she needed, uh, instead of just, like, living, like, running and gunning and surviving, now that she doesn't have to worry about, like, survival necessarily, like, she's been given a purpose that is like a, I guess like a higher calling kind of like she feels like she can breathe and she whatever you know and plus like I don't know it feels like uh you know she had that issue with the kids when she was little like and I feel like this is almost sort of her like atonement for how she like it thought about how they like were when things ended up actually being a little more complicated um and they suffered like she did and now she's in a place where she can help biotic kids get the the tension and treatment and, and the help that they need and like the the learning that they need without it being like a terrible laboratory experiment you know so this was good for her but i remember just being like what <laughs> they freaking they put who in charge of the kids <laughs> hey let me know when we've got a new way off this station how are the students handling the war how do you think they're a bunch of teenagers until a few months ago the biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Her scars are more obvious. I don't remember seeing them like this in Mass Effect 2. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude... I love her jacket. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them up. What is it that, uh, shoot, like Brooklyn Nine Nine or whatever? There's that woman who's like, I never understood people like being attached to their dogs. She's like, until I got one, and if any, I've only had them for a day and a half. But if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. That's how Jack. That's Jack. <laughs> she even kind of acts like her and kind of looks like her. They're very tall, slender women. <laughs> What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip them to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, throwing husks around making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle <laughs> this. He can talk about it. <laughs> Morden. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. So yeah, Jack's moved on. She's found new purpose in life, so she can't join us. She won't be joining us. She's got her kids. But, uh... It's just, it's, it's a full circle for Jack, and, like, I wish we could have seen, like, more of the, like, progression of it, but, uh... Of course. 
it does it does make sense that I, I could see how it would have progressed from Jack as we knew her in two to Jack as we know her now. So she never told you? She did she told you about the collector base that you guys are just morons. If she told you about the collector base and you knew she worked with me, because that was what I did. Eh. Anyway. I am gonna call this one here. Unfortunately, this one it will take probably another episode to get through. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Say hello to Jack. And we'll only have Jack the next like 30, 40 minutes, unfortunately. So <laughs> but it's still cool. I Jack's is one of my favorites to come up to stumble across and like see how she's changed. Um, it's just, it's just really nice. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Guido, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest and I super appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you next one.